Producing plants in containers has become a permanent part of the nursery industry, and in some parts of the country, the practice has replaced field production as the primary method of, re of production. In contrast to field production, the volume of medium available per plant in container production is greatly reduced. The root environment is also directly affected by the physical and chemical composition of the medium, the size and shape of the container, the surface upon which it is placed, and the ambient temperature surrounding the containers. Good container media management is basic to the production of quality container grown plants. I'm Dr. DeBusk and this video discusses the function of media. In developing a medium for the production of container grown plants, the functions of the medium in plant growth and development must be understood and the criteria determined that would produce the most productive medium for the climate and for the nursery crop. The two basic functions of the medium are to serve as a means of anchorage and support for the plant and to serve as a reservoir for water and the mineral nutrients for plant growth and development. In addition, the medium must have a pH conducive to plant growth and a structure that will provide aeration for the roots and permanent water infiltration and movement. The roots of the plants serve to anchor them to the soil which in turn serves to support the plant. In field production, the roots can grow unrestricted, providing anchorage into a large volume of soil. However, in container culture, the roots are restricted to the confines of the container. A medium for container production of plants in a nursery must be heavy enough to provide ballast for the plant it will support or artificial support must be provided. This is a particular problem for the production of larger trees and shrubs. Small plants produced in one to five gallon containers and spaced pot to pot can be grown in a medium of low bulk density, BD, weight per unit volume. However, large tall plants grown on wider spacings require a medium of higher BD. When the plants are large and the BD of the medium is low, some other form of support is necessary such as staking, guying, pot and pot production, or tying to a wire frame. Plants produced in containers require the same essential nutrient elements as plants produced in field culture. The total supply of minerals available for plant growth is limited by the size of the container. This makes it desirable for a container production medium to have a relatively high cation exchange capacity, CEC, to serve as a reservoir for nutrient elements. Most, but not all, of the organic media ingredients provide substantial CEC. CEC is expressed as milliequivalents per 100 cubic centimeters. Sand is very low in CEC while bark is much higher. The optimum pH for organic mixes tend to be 1 to 1.5 units lower than those generally considered desirable for mineral soils. Liming organic media with a pH above 5.8 is undesirable because it will reduce the availability of phosphorus, manganese, boron, copper, and zinc. Growing plants require large quantities of water to replace that loss by transpiration and used for metabolic purposes. One of the important functions of a good container medium is to store and supply the water needed for plant growth. Roots must have a supply of oxygen in order to absorb water, therefore the medium must have good aeration, porosity. Roots must have good aeration to carry on respiration and allow for the removal of the carbon dioxide, CO2, that is generated in the process. This presents somewhat of a problem with containers. Because they are relatively shallow, a perched water table develops at the bottom of the container. The shallower the container and the finer the texture of the medium, the greater the moisture holding capacity and the poorer the aeration porosity. In contrast, a deep container filled with coarse textured medium will have better aeration porosity but less moisture holding capacity. Improvement in the pore size of a fine textured medium requires a substantial addition, 70 to 80 percent of the total bulk volume, of the coarse textured ingredient. The components of a me medium for the production of container grown plants should be blended to produce a mix that has good water holding capacity and also good porosity. This is dependent upon the texture of the various ingredients and the relative proportions within the mix. Porosity determines the volume of the container that, when filled with a medium, is potentially available for water, air, and for root growth. Pore size determines the actual volume of water and air that remains in the container medium following irrigation and drainage. The small pores function as water retention pores and large pores as aeration pores. The depth of the container will also influence the aeration porosity and water retention of a container medium. 
A medium in a shallow wide container will hold a greater volume of water than the same volume of medium in a deep narrow container. Drainage of water in a porous substance is a function of the pore size and the length of the water column. The guide for the production of container grown plants recommends that container media have the following physical characteristics. Total porosity 50 to 85 percent, airspace of 10 to 30 percent, container water holding capacity volume of 45 to 65 percent, available water content 25 to 35 percent, unavailable water content of 25 to 35 percent, and bulk density of 0.19 to 0.7 grams per cubic centimeter. Commercial soil testing laboratories can determine the preceding physical soil characteristics. In this video, hopefully you learned about the functions of media and how it applies to container production.